And now we're going to switch gears and turn to Rock Falls and the continued efforts to clean up hazardous contamination. What you're looking at is a brown field or a site that's contaminated. Rock Falls is the only municipality in the whole state of Illinois to be awarded the Browns Fields multi-purpose grant from the EPA. This is $800,000 to find contaminated sites around town and then clean the areas up. But before that can happen, the city needs your help. So joining us now to break this all down is Rock Falls City Administrator, Robin Blackert. Robin, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. Well, why don't we start with the obvious? I mean, what is a brownfield? A brownfield is a site that's usually formerly industrial or commercial, and it can't be reused because of the potential contamination on the site. So we're talking things like former laundromats, former gas stations? Uh, manufacturing, dry cleaners, things like that. Mm. You know, the EPA does report there's more than 450,000 brown sites across the country, but where is one brownfield site the city of Rock Falls for sure knows about and is targeting? That's our Parish Alford site. Uh, it's a riverfront site, and that's actually what the $800,000 will be used for, for the assessment and cleanup of the remainder of that property. And where is this money from this EPA grant coming from? I think people might hear that and just, you know, infer that it's tax dollars. That's one of the really interesting things about the EPA grants. It's not tax dollars. It's actually the fine money from companies who have polluted or contaminated and have been fined for that. So they turn around and use that money for other uh, places to be able to clean up their sites. Mm -hmm. So what can people that are living in Rock Falls do to help the city with these efforts? What we'd really like is in conjunction with this grant, even though we have a targeted area, part of this is community outreach and doing a community-wide assessment of the area. So if you know of a site, and we as a city have a pretty good idea of most of them, but we want the community to participate in this. And if they know of locations that could have potential contamination, we would like them to email those spots to us and let us know. Yeah, I mean, even looking online, potential brownfield sites could even be places that people have been dumping motor oil in their backyard for years and maybe then they move. Or... It could be. It could be. Uh, usually we don't get too deep into, into that, but, um, and we don't intend on doing like a citywide type cleanup. What we're looking at doing is gathering the sites first, and then if we believe that assessment needs to be done of those properties, then we would look at doing that in the future. It feels like an obvious question, but why does the city want to know about these sites? When you clean them up, can you reuse the properties? They could be. A lot of these abandoned sites, uh, lots of times municipalities will end up with those through a ju judicial deed through abandonment. So it's good if we know if there is potential contamination. So when we go to do a phase one or phase two environmental study, that we have that history on the property. Well, before I let you go, Robin, I think one of the best parts about this is if someone does report a site, you're not looking to penalize or fine anyone, right? No, no. We're just gathering information right now. All right. Robin, thank you so much for joining us. I really you. appreciate your time.